So a couple of days ago, I made two videos. One that talked about the top 20 graphic novels in North America and how all 20 of them were manga, which is funny. You know, the comic book pros like to throw around how comic sales have never been higher. But I really do wonder if you were to subtract all of the Japanese manga from those, from those charts that they are so happy to throw around. How much of those sales would they really celebrate? Because, like I always point out, just because the manga is doing good doesn't mean Western comics is doing good. Okay? If you have a Chevy plant and a bunch of workers working in that plant, and that plant closes, I'm sorry, uh, but the, the likelihood of them going to work at a Honda plant it's probably not going to happen. Japan already has talented creators working on their stuff. I doubt that they want to replace them with a bunch of woke fools. So one of them decided to criticize Japanese manga, say, well, I don't like this stuff. It's, it's bad. And, but the but boobs are big and all kinds of stuff. Gotta get rid of that. American comic book artists are taking deservedly to task for outrageously sexist treatment of women, but rarely do I see any commentary on the rampant sexism and misogyny of manga. And manga is incredibly popular with younger readers. This is from the guy who made, who made Power Girl, by the way. He's complaining about animated characters' chest sizes. So he followed that up with this too, by the way. Not to mention manga's rampant sexualization of teen and preteen young women in media that in America is mostly popular with, among younger readers. Do we ignore this because we're afraid to criticize non-Western cultural tropes? And he he shared this picture with that one. Now he got ratioed to hell <laughs> really badly. Uh, I've talked about this a few times, but the one thing that is a little bit more interesting is that his tweet did manage to reach Japan. In fact, there's also a whole little blog that discovered new warriors we're going to go over as well. But I, I, I wanted to share the take of the Japanese people that saw this and decided to comment on what Jerry Conway had said. By the way, what a fall from grace with with Jerry Conway. And I talked about this in a previous video. Jerry wrote one of the best Spider-Man runs ever. A very influential Spider-Man run, by the way, which is the night Gwen Stacy died. Of course, Norman Osborn's uh, final. He comes back, of course, but uh, that's the night uh, where Norman dies. If you've seen the first Tobey Maguire movie, You've pretty much got the basics of that run because what happens with Mary Jane is basically Gwen Stacy, but Gwen Stacy dies. <laughs> and she gets her, neps, her neck snapped by his webbing. Th that's what happened in Amazing Spider-Man 2. So if you take those two movies, that's pretty much his run. And it was a great, great comic book run. And then he also created The Punisher. And Miss Marvel, the one everyone liked with the sexy costume. Uh, but he's just gone completely off the rails and full woke. And uh, it's it's the typical thing you see in comic book land nowadays. But here's a tweet right here. We have to use translation from Google. So it's going to be a little bit a little bit off. It says, I can't do it without permission. There is no way this kind of shit is going to be popular. And of course, sharing pictures of the new warriors, as you can see. And uh, this is a picture from Marvel Entertainment's Japanese <laughs> channel. And someone says, just remember that Marvel was nice enough to leave the comment section on. Uh, he follows it up here with this. I'm sorry for the person who was struggling with political correctness and designed the character. To be clear, this is not a designer's problem, but a political and social problem there. Talking about America. I feel, or I just want to say, I don't see this. Then there's a couple more here. 
while the American comic industry is awesome that they flattened to expression control supporters and sold their soul in, to them in the name of comics code. Why they towards the head to blaming Japanese manga, what dangerous is accused by drawing something they want. If this one, it can't be helped. They are criticized by political correctness since American comics is the global standard that embodies democracy, justice, capitalism. Manga is okay, on the other hand, since it's a savage culture in the country where the human rights behind Japs land. Now, I think some of this is getting lost in translation, but here, I think this person is basically saying, why is this guy who's supposed to be you know, a person that embodies democracy and all this stuff, calling the manga, calling ma saying manga is a part of some savage culture and saying that some of the human rights are supposed to be ahead of Japan. It's tough to say, but the criticism here is still coming in. I knew this tweet after I was told that this tweet is buzzing from my friend, but why are you blaming Japanese manga on the issue that American comics is criticized by political correctness? And you get this one, we do you, we do we, shut up. Wow, they really tweeted this kind of stuff. When I see this kind of stuff, I understand how political correctness is harmful to pre freedom of expression, and if we could deny political correctness and keep... Freedom of expression beating Hollywood might no longer be a dream. Why don't you come to Japan and draw manga instead of enforcing American wrestling rules onto the sumo? You can draw freely if your work is interesting or maybe you got too old to start something new. I don't know who you are, but you could, could you please stop bringing the political correctness issue in your country onto Japan? Very annoying, to be honest. Solve your problem country's problem in your country and this one here there is freedom of expression in japan it's tolerant to any kind of expression taking it as good or bad depends on people but don't you think that you can make it any creation would contribute to diversity as people can create a variety of creations do you american comics are done what readers want to read is interesting works, and it's not always politically correct works. American comics creators or editors don't even understand that. So he's getting he's getting some interesting reactions from people from Japan. They, of course, are basically calling his work trash and American comics trash, but in a, a more kinder way. Like they're a little bit different in the way they react where we're a little more blunt and brutal. They're kind of a little bit more reserved, but they're still trashing it. Uh, then there's the new warriors stuff. The hero announced by Marvel is rushed to blame for character design that is too politically conscious. Certainly this is. And you can see here, Marvel's new hero announced last year, character choice that feels something intentional. And pointing out here that yeah it is intentional it's all social justice stuff and woke designing uh one year later that announced video has a terrifyingly low rating pointing out how it's been ratioed to hell this is of course from the japanese version of that of that trailer because there is a japanese youtube marvel entertainment uh, channel uh, the reason Marvel's work is covered with political correct correctness is probably because it anticipates live action to some extent. Anyway, when it comes to live action movies, they are strong in comics. Marvel's new character was so dull that I think I was surprised about the political correctness. Was It was fully opened up. I felt unmotivated to think about it. But Marvel has been criticized, too. They really live hard, do M the world, or to sleep by observing Pori Cori correct Marvel. I think that's political correctness, maybe. I, 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 I'm not sure what Pori Cori is. Fully, I do might be, if Netta work go, seriously, in this design, it's cool. It's not like that. If Marvel is too conscious of political correctness, the low ev evaluation will be very bad, and it will be bad. I saw the new character of Marvel pasted it and said, wow, after all, political correctness is shit. 
And there's a lot more to this. There's a lot of people commenting on this. It says, you can't be a fat aunt or a hero. That, of course, I think is referring to a trailblazer. <laughs> yes, discrimination, political correctness, sentence to death. Marvel's dying once and was able to revive in the movie, but the manga itself was not reevaluated. So they're trashing New Warriors to hell. There's all kinds of comments in here. I'm going a little bit slower if you want to if you want to pause and read these for yourself like this one. What is the group photo of the woman in this image? Like you can you can take this and see. Don't be crazy because the element is ugly. Like everyone is trashing. Everybody is trashing it. It's funny they just now discovered this because you can see like up here from the date, uh, this is fairly recent, 516. So they are like just trashing this. But it's interesting to see this take because I do a lot of videos on, you know, Americans critiquing manga. Now we get to see Japanese people critique American comics and... uh, (laughs) They recognize garbage just as well as we do. So interesting stuff here. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.